Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'll be going over how to create an e-commerce website from scratch. Now, whether you're completely new to this or already have an online business, this video will provide you with the necessary information to set up your online store. Now, I personally built a good number of e-commerce websites, but it wasn't always easy, especially when I first started out. And that's why I'll be going over the process with you, so you'll be able to set up your own shop in no time. Now, when creating your website, well, you'll want to use a platform designed for this purpose. Now, I personally use Shopify, and if you'd like to check them out at any point throughout this video, we'll well, if you click the link in the description down below, you can benefit from a three day free trial as well as only pay $1 per month for the first three months. Now let's get into how to set up an e-commerce website. Now before we start, it's important to know that setting up an e-commerce website is not just about selling products, it's also about creating an impressive online presence for your online business to attract customers to your store. Now I'm guessing that you've already done your business research and know your target market, the products you plan on selling, and that you've checked out your competitors. Now if you haven't done that yet, I strongly recommend that you do so before moving on to building your e-commerce website. Now, once you're clear about all these things, it's time to find the right platform for your e-commerce website. Now, you can either choose an open source platform like WordPress or pick an all-in-one website builder such as Shopify or Squarespace. Now, I've done extensive research before choosing a platform and I now use Shopify for all the e-commerce websites that I built. Now, once you've chosen which e-commerce platform to use, the first step is to create an account. Now, after creating your account and choosing a name for your e-commerce website, you'll need to consider the website hosting services as well. Now, if you've chosen Shopify, that's not necessary because that's included, which is why I recommend Shopify to all beginners because the platform offers everything you need for your online business and doesn't require technical knowledge or coding skills. Now, Shopify covers the domain name, hosting, SSL certificates, etc. Now, all right, let's move on to the next step. So after choosing a name for your website, it's time to select a template and a theme that suits your brand. Now I've designed my online store using the customizing options on Shopify. You'll get a bunch of free themes to choose from, and there are also some paid themes available as well. Now I recommend customizing your theme to make your website look attractive and unique. And that also includes updating headers and footers, building out pages and configuring the site's navigation. Now, now, the next step is to create product listings on your e-commerce website. Now, be sure that your product catalog has all your products with attractive images, descriptions, and prices. The images that you use should be high resolution, go for 2,500 pixels. Next, provide a clear and detailed description of each item, highlighting its features, benefits, and unique selling points. And you'll also want to clearly display the price of each product. Now, if your products have variants such as different color or sizes, showcase them clearly and make it easy for customers to select what they want to buy. And listen, don't forget to organize and categorize your listings so it's simple for your buyers to locate and purchase them. Next, it's time to set up payment gateways, inventory, and tax tools. Now, most e-commerce platforms have a bunch of payment integration options to choose from, such as Stripe, PayPal, and there's a couple more. Now here, I suggest that you ensure that the sensitive information of your customers is encrypted when setting third-party payment gateways. Now, once you've successfully set up payment options, the next thing to take care of is choosing the right shipping choices for your products, such as free shipping, flat rate, variant fee, etc. And also be sure to have a clear cut refund and return policy. Now it's time to set up your shipping process, including order processing, packaging, labeling, and tracking. Now I'd suggest opting for automating these tasks to make things simpler for you and your customers. Now, if you like, you can also consider drop shipping, which will simplify everything for you. All right, the final step is to launch your website. But before you do so, test out your website. 
platforms will usually allow you to test payment processing features without charging your card. And also check that emails are being sent properly to your inbox once the purchase is made. Now, most importantly, check the mobile version of your online store since most customers are shopping online using their mobile phones. Now, there are mobile optimization features on Shopify, so check them all out to ensure that your website is functioning across all devices and browsers. And once that's completed, it's time to hit that launch button. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on how to create an e-commerce website. If this video was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. For more, remember to check out the link in the description down below to gain access to a three-day free trial, as well as only pay $1 per month for the first three months. And now, if you have any questions or personal experience with Shopify, well, drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.